Sulustu was once known as an industrious island, popularly known for the manufacture of Bodubero, the local Maldivian drums, its salt fish warehouses and for the nation's only Coca-Cola factory. Sulustu is home to a rich tradition and culture. The island has inherited cultural heritage sites such as Hulkurumiski and Ziare, as few of the notable places which have been refurbished to its best natural state. The island is famous for its international surf spots such as cokes and chickens, just less than five minutes away. The island is blessed with its natural resources such as coconut palm trees and white sandy beaches. The reefs surrounding the island are known to be home for a number of fish and coral life. The island aims to protect and conserve its culture as a prime resource. The locals promote handcrafted items, bodu bearer dances and traditional cuisines. And together with guest houses, small events are organized showcasing Maldivian culture and traditions to the tourist. Locals and businesses rely fully on tourism. The access to finance through the current policies have paved the way for young entrepreneurships. Businesses such as surfboard repair shops, surf lessons, water sports and tourist shops have been fully operated by the youths. With a 90% stake of the island's economy purely dependent on the tourism sector, the island has made a strategic master plan to allocate multiple new lands to develop tourism. With the vision of reeling in international investors and young entrepreneurships, the hope is to build propitious future opportunities. Sulustu promotes and continues to develop its equity, diversity and quality of life through many means. With a special committee led and organized by women to look after sports, women entrepreneurship and organizing small events. Because of the hospitable environment among the locals, tourists have made Sulustu their home and had longer extended stays. The locals often receive training sessions, educational conferences and sustainable development goals, which help with their development and cultivation. To preserve the natural resources of the island and to spread awareness for climate change and environmental sustainability, Tulustu promotes policies that discourage the use of single-use plastic with a vision to bring an end to single-use plastic throughout the island. While waste management has been an issue to address, the island has plans for a strategic waste management system where waste is handled in a way that can benefit the local economy. The island of Tulustu has a significant market potential for tourism. Just 30 minutes from Belana International Airport makes it very convenient and affordable. With its abundant natural resources such as surfing and diving spots make Tulustu a very attractive destination for tourists. The island focuses on developing this potential through opening up lands to investors with unique concepts which can boost the economy and variety of experiences. As tourism is a constantly developing industry within Tulustu, Everything from menus to signage has been made to integrate tourism into the local community. With the understanding of tourism as the main economic contributor, the council worked together with the locals to give a special focus on tourism. The local governance initiates programs between private and public sectors to facilitate investments and training programs to further develop local tourism in the island. Being in close proximity to the international airport compared to other islands in the Maldives, Tulustu offers ferry services for budget travelers with the option of private transfers for high-end travelers. Some of the various facilities to highlight in Tulustu are a health center, police station, pharmacies and a magistrate court. The island also has a harbor and few jetties which makes it easily accessible by vessels. In terms of connectivity, the island has modern cellular coverage throughout the island and Wi-Fi connections are available within guest houses. As a developing tourist destination, it is essential to have good health, safety and security systems. The service of health centers and police stations are available for both the residents and travelers. To counter tsunamis and irrigation, one of the government's initiatives was to place wave breaks around the perimeter of the island. The island has a tsunami evacuation plan, 
which has been coordinated between the locals and the government. Having multiple resources created for both the locals and the guest houses alike, today the tiny island of Tulustu has become a hub for tourism, inviting more collaborations to work with bigger opportunities in the tourism sector.